First and foremost, thank you all so much for being here with us today. It genuinely means so much to have everyone with us in one room celebrating. And I hope you all agree it was a really special day and we're so happy with how everything's gone today. Um, and a huge thank you to Karen and Martin for their generosity and support throughout the whole process and for raising such a wonderful person that I now get to call my wife, which feels absolutely <laughs> amazing to finally be able to say that. It may not be traditional for the bride to speak, but those who know me won't be surprised to hear me button as always. So I thought I'd just say a couple of words. On behalf of my husband and myself, we'd just like to say a huge thank you to everyone for coming. It honestly means the world to have you all here in the same room. I think we've got a great future ahead of us. I feel so, so blessed that I've met someone as amazing, kind, patient and loving as Jack. And I love his family and friends. I'm so glad to have been so welcomed by all of you. It's been amazing. And I'm so lucky to be a part of this big group of people. And just so happy we're together. So <laughs> thank you all. And I'll pass back to Jack. <laughs> That was genuinely way better than what I'm about to say. So, like, <laughs> uh, it's been so nice. How's it feel? Is it comfy? <laughs> is it comfy? Yeah, it is. Friends, welcome to Merton Chapel on this gloriously sunny day to celebrate the wedding of Katie and Jack. I am the Reverend Lyndon Webb, the Associate Chaplain here at Merton, and it's a real joy to welcome you as we celebrate this gorgeous couple today. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Katie and Jack, to ask God's blessing on them and to share in their joy. Jesus' first miracle was to turn water into wine at a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and through his spirit, he is with us now. The Bible teaches us that marriage is a gift of God in creation and a means of divine grace, a holy mystery in which two people become one flesh. It is God's purpose that as husband and wife give themselves to each other in love throughout their lives, they shall be united in that love as Christ is united in his church. Marriage is given that husband and wife may comfort and help each other, living faithfully together in need and in plenty, in sorrow and in joy. It is given that with delight and tenderness, they may know each other in love and through the joy of their bodily union, may strengthen the union of their hearts and lives. It is given as the foundation of family life in which children may be born and nurtured and where all may receive love's blessings. In marriage, husband and wife belong to one another and they begin a new life together in the community. It is a way of life that all should honour and it must not be undertaken carelessly, lightly or selfishly, but reverently, responsibly and after serious thoughts. This is the way of life, created and hallowed by God, that Jack and Katie are now to begin. They will each give their consent to the other. They will join hands and exchange solemn vows. And in token of this, they will each give and receive a ring. Therefore, on this their wedding day, we pray with them that strengthened and guided by God, they may fulfill love's purpose for the whole of their earthly life together. I, Jack, Robert, Sell, take you, Catherine, Patricia, Hopgood, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to death us do part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. I, Catherine Patricia Hopgood, take you, Jack Robert Sarr, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Katie, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
Jack, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Katie and Jack, would you please kiss? <laughs> Katie is perfect for my brother in every way, and I really do believe he's found his other half. They were absolutely made for each other. Although it is a slight surprise that Katie sat here today, because throughout childhood he used to say that he was going to marry our mum. <laughs> Katie has embraced our crazy, complicated, extended family, especially demonstrated by her making our sisters bridesmaids today. You look amazing, by the way. We are so grateful for the amount of effort that she makes uh, to, to ensure that her and Jack are a huge and present part of our family, despite the distance. Especially in the last year since my husband Ross and I had our twin girls Izzy and Mia. They've made such an effort to be part of our lives and the endless trips to Devon are really appreciated so thank you so much. And I just want to make a toast to Katie, welcome to the family. <laughs> okay. It really is a, an honour to have been asked to be Jack's best woman. It really was a shock and I never expected it. The way he put it to me was so lovely. If you'd been my brother you would have been my best man, so why would I not have you in this role just because you're a female? Um, I do hope he's now not regretting the sentiment. <laughs> Especially I've, as I've over round run on my allotted time, but I feel like everyone did, so we're okay. <laughs> anyway, I just, I wish you all the happiness in the world, and I love you both so much. Uh, to Jack and Katie. <laughs> Maybe a bit of advice, always um, dangerous to um, to give, but having been married for um, 30 years, years or so, myself, the only advice I would give to, um, to this um, lovely couple setting out is to choose the right partner. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the only problem is that it's a bit of a catch-22. You get to know your partner kind of better and better as the years go on. So to be 100% sure, you really need to um, have the benefit of, um, of long hindsight. Clearly, Katie and Jack have chosen the perfect partners and they, they seem to be ideally suited to, to one another. They share in a lot of similar interests, worked hard and successfully for a, a large number of years. So I wish them all the best for their uh, future together. Please be upstanding for the bride and groom. We, we love you both lots and all the best for a long and um, happy life together. Um, so the toast, um, if you, to the bride and groom. Bye.